Hi there, my name is Jamal Khan. I'm the head of tax and senior partner at Churchill Tax Advisors. Today we're talking about tax investigations and meetings with HMRC. Very important topic. Uh, I've uh, been asked about this quite a lot of times. As we specialize in tax investigations, we, we are asked a lot about whether our clients should meet with HMRC or not. Uh, the first point on here is whether uh, who should attend the meeting. In our practice, it's common, uh, we, 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 we do not allow for our clients to meet with HMRC uh, unless it's absolutely required, uh, as there is no le legislation that requires to meet with HMRC inspectors. Uh, it can be avoided in our view, if possible, unless this is mandatory, unless the UK, there's no other way of going about it. We prefer that we as the representatives, we as the, we as the agents, meet with HMRC directly and we pass on any messages. The next point is, is a meeting required? If a meeting is not required, why are we meeting? So we need to be absolutely clear if HMRC are asking for a meeting, we need to ask them, are we, do we actually need to meet? If we don't need to meet, we don't need to waste time. What's the agenda? That's the next point that we're going to consider. But before we come to that, we need to, b there's no point in meeting uh, unless, unless it's required, especially if the client is feeling nervous, if, if you're feeling nervous about a meeting. First, you should, should you attend? That's the first question. And if it's actually, actually required, will it benefit HMRC? Will it benefit the tax investigation that's going on? Okay, the third point is, do we, who, who goes to the meeting? Is it, is there a, is there a, uh, is the, 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 the taxpayer or, or yourself if you're on an investigation, uh, if you're going, are you going alone? Should you be represented? My, my advice, our advice is that you should never go alone to a tax investigation meeting. You should be represented. You should have a very, very experienced tax advisor with you. Do not go just with your accountant, ordinary accountant, because that can, that can fire back, that can, that can be very, very harm, harmful if your accountant uh, does not know how the uh, tax investigations are conducted, uh, the HMRC's questions, or he's not prepared, he's not familiar with the protocol. Um, so you need to be very careful of who goes to the tax, to the tax investigation me meeting with you. First of all, never go alone, never go alone, because that uh, we've had many clients who've had serious, serious problems because they went alone, they thought they could take on the world, <laughs> and, but they couldn't. And, and uh, they come out sweating and uh, going, oh, they bullied me and they did it. But, but no, they don't. It just they have to follow a professional protocol, uh, which, which can only be done by a, uh, a, an experienced tax advisor. Agenda. Now, first of all, uh, I mentioned it over here, whether it's required or not. But without an agenda, you should never attend a meeting. Uh, because that, can, that meeting can go on and we can ask about any question. We can be asked any questions during the meeting, say, unless you are fully prepared, uh, do not attend a meeting. You can only be prepared if there's an agenda. If there's no agenda, do not attend a meeting. If we are in a meeting and a, a topic is brought up outside of the agenda and you're not prepared, uh, very, very important that you do not discuss that and you say that we, we, we cannot discuss this point because it was not on the agenda and therefore we will have to agree it later on or do it through email correspondence or, letter, or letters or telephone calls. But if you're not ready for something, do not discuss it. Next point, venue. Where should you meet? Should you go to HMRC's offices? Should HMRC come to your offices? Or should you go to a representative's office? Our advice is that you should always be meeting at the representative's office uh, or your tax advisor's office. That gives you a bit, bit more, that's a bit more neutral place to meet as compared to your offices or HMRC's offices. Uh, and in the, the environment, you don't feel in, you're in such a hostile environment. It's a lot more neutralized. Uh, and you've got a meeting room where, where you can meet and you can go out. Uh, one more thing is if, to, if to, at any time during a meeting you're feeling uncomfortable, if you have made the mistake of uh, attending a meeting, uh, you should, you should uh, if you're not, you're not comfortable, you're not feeling well, just stop the meeting there and then and just say, sorry, I'm not feeling well, I have to go. Very important, there's no point in continuing with a meeting if you are going to, uh, if you're going to say something wrong or you're under pressure. Final point is minutes of a meeting. 
this is the one of the most important points a lot of people don't understand is when you are going into a meeting HMRC will make notes you will make notes but sometimes they will uh, write a lot of things and you would have said something out of being nervous you would then at that stage HMRC towards the end might, might say we will send you meeting notes uh, we would like you to sign them uh, our policy at Churchill tax advisors is not to sign meeting notes because anything could have been said facts could have been misrepresented uh, or somebody might have made a mistake so if you do sign the meeting notes these meeting notes can be used against you in the tribunal in the court so try not to sign meeting notes unless this can be this cannot be avoided but generally i mean we in our situation our firm we never sign meeting notes yes we, we might agree to it but we might say we can't agree to everything in the meeting notes uh, and therefore we, we, we try to avoid signing this is our advice um, if you have any questions, you can contact us on the, the, the de contact details below here uh, or, the, or visit our website and we shall see you uh, hopefully in our next video. Thank you. Bye.